Hi, this is Francisco Bujan from VitalCoaching.com and we are talking about spiritual power. The topic for today is how to activate your creative power. If you have been meditating or if you have been familiar with uh, Eastern philosophies, with Hinduism, uh, with yoga or Tantra or Buddhism, you know that uh, our system or our body contains centers of energy. And uh, these centers are called chakra. We have one uh, up there in the crown, another one in the third eye, another one in the throat, another one lower in uh, the crown, in um, the heart chakra, etc. down. Now, when we talk about creativity, the creative center is the throat. Literally, when you speak, when you sing, you're expressing your creative power and you are really using the center of your throat chakra. Now, what we want to check today is how to activate this throat chakra because it is one uh, essential uh, one when you want to be creative, when you want to bring out uh, a certain stream of creativity. It is a center of inspiration. And um, when you feel, for instance, that the center is blocked, that is not really functioning, there are ways of activating it. If you feel that you need inspiration, for instance, as an artist, or as uh, a business person, or, or as any form of creation, what you want is really be able to activate that center whenever you want in, in, in whatever way you want. Now, when the center is not active, uh, you feel very often that you might have throat problems, you might have, uh, you know, uh, you might feel blocked and stuck there, you might be coughing a lot, etc. Of course, this can come from too much smoking as well, but if you feel, for instance, that you, you need to clear your throat very often, <coughs> you know, like feeling like there is something blocked in there, what you want is really to activate the center. And what I will give you is simply a few techniques on how to do that. It is very important to realize that in Eastern traditions, in uh, Eastern philosophies and mythologies, the idea of creating has always been very present, as much as, you know, other qualities. But you even have a goddess of speech. Uh, speech in itself is translated as Vak in, uh, in Sanskrit, and uh, it is a goddess. Uh, you have also the goddess Sarasvati, which expresses your, the creative power. So all these contained within these philosophies or these traditions uh, gives you mindsets, it gives you ideas, gives you ways of standing in life uh, which are creative and activate the center. And if you're not familiar with these philosophies or these ideas, it doesn't matter because these concepts are universal. They are not related with a certain tradition uh, that you have really to import. They are really universal concepts or universal ideas. And you can bring in a new flow of energy into your life, a new flow of creative power, simply by activating this center. Now, if you never tried, <laughs> you know, you will have to believe me on that. And trust me, uh, this is not some form of weird idea, it is really something that works and to try uh, to, uh, you know, to simply experiment it, you have to try it, you have to learn how to activate these centers through very simple meditation and energy techniques. Now this is what we are going to, to try, um, you know, to transmit to you today within, uh, within this video. The first thing I want to give you is first a word, a very simple word. This word is susampad. Susampad means driven to succeed. It is the force or a mantra or a key word that is associated with the activation of your, of your throat center. I won't explain here to you where it comes from or how it was created, but you can simply, if you are looking for a simple technique to activate your throat chakra, this word Susampad is one that you can use. Now, how do you use it? Uh, you can simply close your eyes and uh, meditate internally on this word in your throat center. You focus your attention in your throat, in your throat area, and simply repeat internally uh, this word, susampad. You pause a little bit and then you repeat it again, susampad. And you repeat it again, susampad. And what this word is doing is sending a very clear message to your subconscious mind. It is saying, I am a creative being, I am a successful being. Success not in the sense of money, I mean it can be in the sense of money, but success in the sense of I am able to achieve what I am meant to do in this lifetime. 
And uh, you will notice that this word in itself is not just a word, it's, not, it's more than a simple pattern, it is actually a key. It's like an access key or an, or an access door into a certain uh, mindset of reality. What we are calling here, when we invoke that word, Susampad, is really a whole reality, it's a whole energy reality which is telling your mind, uh, I am driven to succeed. This is what I can do, what I can achieve in life. And uh, it is again associated with your throat chakra. Now I will show you how it is written. This is the calligraphy in, uh, in Sanskrit. This is how you write it. And what you can do, uh, as well as combining it with, uh, with the meditation technique, where you meditate internally on this word, you can also, of course, uh, simply write the calligraphy to express this force or this energy. Uh, there are a couple of other techniques that you can use. For instance, you can also, if you want to go for it, uh, write uh, this word on a little necklace, for instance, and wear it. You can also um, uh, simply repeat it uh, uh, out loud, for instance, when you are in nature and you are jogging or you're practicing something physically, you can also invoke this word. Um, you have to experiment with these techniques and see which one uh, fits better with, uh, with yourself. Another way to activate uh, the throat chakra, it is a very simple one, it is to sing, it is to speak. When you speak, you are actually activating or energizing uh, this throat center as well. And um, when you sing, it is the same. As soon as you start singing, you are actually manifesting your creative power and activating that center of, uh, this center of energy. Uh, another very simple technique that you can use, um, it is very simple, here we go. You see this, uh, this is some uh, red powder that I got from a, from a nice temple somewhere in the Himalayas. And you can simply take a little bit of it and, uh, you know, you have to make it, uh, to make it wet. And then you put, it, you put it a little dot here on your, on your throat, throat center. So when you do that, you are uh, also telling your mind, here we go, I want to activate my, uh, my throat uh, chakra. Now, if you don't have this kind of nice uh, secret powder, it doesn't have to be, uh, you know, to be some form of, of secret thing. The fact that you are actually calling uh, this resource in your mind and wanting to activate your, your, your throat is already good enough. For instance, another technique that you can use, you can simply use, uh, you see, I have a little white pen here, and uh, I pour a little bit of it on a, on a piece of paper. And um, after that, you see I have a little drop in here. I just grab it. Here I have a little white dot, and I put it again on my, uh, on my throat uh, center. So these are very simple techniques. <laughs> you might, if you never tried it, you might think, OK, how on earth does this work? But believe me, it is a, these are very simple ways of activating your energy body. And right now we are just talking about the creative center. We are talking about Susampad. We are talking about creative energy and, uh, and uh, success-driven attitudes. Uh, now we will you know, uh, try to check these kind of techniques with other chakras as well and other qualities. But this is simply an introduction. This is simply to show you how you can uh, simply uh, tap into these resources, into these powers, into these energies by simply conditioning or telling your mind about what you want. And, um, and these techniques really work on a subconscious level. It means that if you put this little dot uh, on your throat before going to sleep in the evening, you will notice that you wake up in the morning with a refreshed feeling. It keeps on working for you. And uh, the same with the meditation technique. You can, uh, before you go to sleep in the evening or when you wake up in the morning, tell your mind, okay, this is the key quality that I want to have in my mind and in my life. And the moment you start using the word to some path, for instance, you will notice that it starts already calling uh, this quality in yourself. I hope this makes sense. You take care for now. And bye-bye.